two and a half years ago, we, through regular academic study, really came to the realization that energy efficiency is the cleanest, most accessible form of fuel available to us. We don't have to build new power plants, we don't have to change our fuel mix, we just save energy. And yet, we waste more than half of the energy that we produce in this country, which means that we have a tremendous opportunity. Here's the thing, it's been that way for a decade or more. So the needle just wasn't moving. And prizes like this, large incentive competitions, we've got $5 million on the line for the community that leads the way on energy efficiency. Prizes like this are historically a proven way to unstick stuck problems like that. And they work because they open up the field of innovation to new ideas. The largest cities in this country, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, they've all been doing a lot on energy efficiency. But the fact of the matter is, those models, because of the scale and the infrastructure of those big cities, they don't translate. They don't translate to the 9,000 communities where almost 70% of the American public lives. Communities like Tacoma Park. It's by asking Tacoma Park to enter the competition, giving you a national platform, and giving you the chance to win $5 million, that we hope to come up with new models, new ideas, that will ultimately transform the way we use energy in communities like this all across the country. We're in a strong position on this because we have a history mm -hmm. over decades now of innovating in ways to reduce energy and be a more sustainable community. And we're used to being uh, groundbreaking in some things so that we're used to having models that are replicable for other communities and that's part of this as well since it's not just reducing energy but how replicable and scalable the uh, the different ideas are. We're used to thinking about things in those terms and we're not afraid to uh, try something new. The next step is to get residents involved. We want to help residents start saving energy at home. That is going to be the first and the foremost way that Tacoma Park will win the five million dollar prize. To do that the city has started offering free energy coaching services for residents and that is for renters or homeowners and residents can contact me and I can come meet with them in their home and help them find ways to save energy and this is good for people who are just starting out maybe people who have unexpected spikes in their energy bills or experts. We have a lot of people in Tacoma Park that have already taken steps to reduce energy use, but maybe they're looking for that next level, and I can meet with them to help them identify some further opportunities. I would actually walk through their home with them and poke my head in their attic, their basement. Your house does not need to be clean. I've seen it all. And it's, it's a mini energy audit. I'm not going to do any diagnostic testing, but I'm going to be able to identify some do-it-yourself fixes, identify major areas of energy leaks in their home and make some recommendations based on what I see. Some of the recommendations might be to get a comprehensive energy audit or it might be to talk with an HVAC specialist that specializes in energy efficient equipment. There are a number of things that can be wasting electricity in your home. I actually have a device, an energy use meter. They're available at the library to check out too. We can plug that into different things to see how much electricity is being wasted. It can be simple things like your cable box is plugged in all day even though you're not recording shows and that can waste $40 a year. So just finding things like that can make a big difference. We are really lucky that Pepco offers $2,000 50% of the cost of an insulation and air sealing job up to $2,000 cash back to have your home air sealed and insulated. That can reduce your energy bills up to 30%. And they also subsidize the cost of a comprehensive home energy audit, which normally costs four to $500. You can get one for just $100. The actual energy metric is pretty simple. We're taking the aggregate electric and natural gas usage for the residential and municipal sector. So public buildings and homes, electric and natural gas. We're adding that up dividing by the number of people served by those utilities in the community. And so we can compare communities of somewhat different size across the country. We'll also be normalizing for weather and climate and some other things like that. So it's a reduction in that energy usage over the next two years. We're talking now January 2015. So by December of 2016, if you've reduced the energy as compared to a two-year baseline, so 2013-2014, We'll take those 
top 10 or so communities, and they'll enter the final round. What we're looking for in that round is not just the energy saving, it's the models, it's the innovation, it's the ideas that can be replicated and scaled across the country. We're used to coming up with new approaches where a lot of our colleagues who we see other places go, gee, I just heard about this that you're doing, whether it's the uh, citywide composting or polystyrene ban. It's not anything big, but uh, it was a good number of years ago where uh, the city stopped buying plastic water bottles and, you know, always up on the dais we have pitchers of water. So it's, it's small things, but it's, that's a reduction in energy use of creating those bottles, transporting them here full of water, and then dealing with the recycling again. So it's a, it may not be something that gets measured in this competition, but it's just efforts like that that go to overall energy reduction and sustainability. One of the things that I'm excited to launch is a neighborhood energy challenge, and that will be for neighbors to band together. It'll help build a sense of community, but also work on peer pressure and get your neighbors to start saving energy at home. And it's not gonna be just for homeowners. It'll be for renters and buildings too. So everyone in the city will be able to participate and there will be prizes for the neighborhoods and the buildings that have the biggest reductions in energy use. And I'm hoping to do some door-to-door -door canvassing, which is always exciting, but it's the best way to, to talk to people, to explain the program to them, the benefits, and we'll be using traditional methods. The newsletter is a great way to communicate with Tacoma Park residents, and then our website, social media, all of the, all of the ways. An important point to get across is that $5 million is a large amount of money, and that's a big motivator. But when you really do the math, the savings that Tacoma Park could realize by becoming more energy efficient are as much or more than that. And that savings, in terms of homeowners' budget, go directly back into the local economy. That savings, in terms of the municipal infrastructure, go directly back into taxpayer programs for the community. So, while well, $5 million is a big motivator out there, every community that saves energy is going to win that and more. We are environmentalists and activists and the Georgetown Energy Prize is such a great way for our residents to rally together and to make a big difference in the community. I would love to help residents start saving energy immediately so they can contact me and I would love to schedule appointments with them for the energy coaching.